This is going to be the last of the modeling videos in the Alien Isolation Air Shaft series, and then we're going to move on to texturing. So I am providing this reference image for you. This is the hanging bulb. So just bring it into Blender and press S2 to scale it twice, and then press G and move it over to this position. We're going to try to center that as best we can. Start from there, press 3, pull it back, press 1 to look from the front again. All right, so this is very simple to do. Let's bring in a circle. We'll make it 16 vertices. Go into edit mode, 1 for vertex selection, and scale it down. And we are pretty close. So I'm just going to start it right there. Press E to extrude, pull down, S to scale. I'll go into wireframe mode, press E to extrude and S to scale and pull it out, E, and come down, zoom in a bit, E, come in a little ways, E to extrude again, and come down, I wish that one didn't always pop up, E, I'm going to come down to here and press S to scale, pull it out, E down to here and then we're going to press E and come in to just bigger than the light bulb I'm going to press E to extrude and come up a little ways okay there's that piece let's go back into solid view have a look at this All right, 2 for edge selection shift alt and click F to make a face control B and bevel there's the 2 put one more grab these 2 control B Give it a bigger bevel so it's a bit more rounded. Okay, come in here, shift alt and click, B to bevel. This one I want a bit sharper, so control B and just don't pull apart too far. This one, control B, just experiment with how much you want. And I'm going to bevel this one too, just in case we see underneath. I don't think we will. Control one, shade smooth. So this is what we get. The next thing we're going to do is the light bulb. I'll leave my 3D cursor there. We're going to bring in a UV sphere, and I'm going to put values of 18 and 10. That should be sufficient. And we're going to pull it down, and it should be pretty close to the actual size. Maybe I'll scale it a small amount, something like that. Okay, press 1 for a vertex selection, and select that top vertex. Look from 1. We're going to go Control plus to get the next level of vertices, X and vertices. Shift Alt and click this edge, E to extrude, pull it up, scale it in a bit, and then E to extrude, pull up, we'll scale it in a little bit more, and then into the light. I might control plus and scale shift Z, not in the Z, just to make it a bit smaller. And this is what we get. Um, let's try a control one and shade smooth. We're never going to see any stretching at the bottom, so that's going to be just fine. So there's our bulb done. All right, so now all we have to do is the wire mesh here and then the hook. To do that, we'll come into here, press two for edge selection, shift alt and click, shift D to duplicate, pull it down, P to break it out. And I'm going to take off the subdivision. So I've got that going to one vertex selection and I'm going to scale it in until it's about in the middle of this. I'm going to pull it up because it would start in there. I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to come down to about the middle of every uh, bar here. E to extrude. I'm going to pull down to about the middle and then press S to scale. We'll make the bars out of this. E to about here. E to about there. E to about there, as to scale, just bring it in like that, and one more E down to about the middle of there, as to scale. Okay, if you want to touch things up, you're welcome to do that. Okay, so we have the basic framework. All right, so to make the bars, I'll go into wireframe. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shift alt and click all these edges that lay on top of the bars. That one and that one go back into solid view so we've got those selected shift D to duplicate P to break them out take the 
main part hide it and we have these right there okay we're going to right click and convert that to a curve and in the curve dialog box i'm going to come down to geometry under bevel depth and hold shift and start pulling and sort of match the size on the diagram and that's probably good enough we could shade smooth if we want to make it look a little bit nicer okay i'll take you bring the other stuff back and we can we can hide those for now let's look from the front and we're going to select this one i'm actually going to hide the empty and behind i'm going to press Control one to look from the back and get the other central one so i'm holding shift and alt so i get the whole thing press three to go to the side shift alt to click there and then Control three to look to the other side and get that one there so we have those four shift d p to break them out take this this one here we are done with that take these and we are going to convert them to a curve as well and i'll alt h i'll bring back everything else so we've got this select those again and under the curve dialog box let's do this and i'm i'm sort of looking at this one here this one underneath what we can actually do is we can look and say okay this i've got 0.65 I'll make this 0 0.65, 0 0.065, sorry. All right, so we have that. And shade smooth. Okay, now, you could leave them like that if you want to, and that's totally fine, but what I will probably do is um, I will convert those to a mesh. We're going to need to do that anyhow. Uh, I'm going to go with 4 for this. And convert to mesh and for this one these ones here these ones here I take it back I'm gonna go with four as well and convert to mesh just like that okay I'm gonna hide that okay on these I'm going to do a control one probably and these a control one and then I'm gonna come into these vertical ones and put some edge loops now where you put the edge loops will determine how sharp this is. So control R. I'm just going to pull up not too high. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to come down here. And just start throwing in some edge loops just to sharpen it up just a little bit. And you have to pretty much repeat this on all of the all of the bars. So it'll take a, take a minute of time. see if I got everything I need looks pretty good if you ask me so unless I'm missing anything you can always uh, you can always do that yourself okay now the final thing is this hook and the way we're gonna handle that is we're gonna grab another circle any one you want shift D scale it out a bit P to break it out and we'll turn off now nah, we'll leave the subdivision on we're gonna look from the top and come in in wireframe and this one here I want to get rid of you see not the one that goes vertically across this one that's just underneath it X vertices and select that one press 1 to look from the front and then just press E to extrude and start press E to extrude and just pulling it to sort of trace the profile of this or the path of this or whatever you want to call that make it nice and round we got the subdivision that'll help we might need to on this we'll see it depends how high poly you want this to be if you care you can always press G to reposition it okay I'm pressing E and I'm moving my mouse eh, that's probably okay and the only thing is going to be whether or not that's sharp enough or uh, rounded enough I should say and I might go for two we'll see but for the moment I'm gonna get rid of that and I like it so far you can see without the subdivision it bends so I mean if you want you can come in here and shift control B and pull it and have like three points and that's gonna take the subdivision a little nicer let's go ahead and convert that to a mesh uh, no it's already a mesh we're converting it to a curve convert it to a curve 
and here let's start this kind of thing we'll look from here and if you want you can follow the diagram or just get something that you think looks looks good um, we can put on control one we can try that and see how well that works and uh, that's basically our hook right there you can shape it a little bit better before I uh, do that I'm going to convert that to a mesh now I'm going to choose four and right click and convert to a mesh and then I'm going to come in here let's get rid of this I don't need it anymore I'm going to come in here and fill this so I'm going to make a face there and control B pull back and have just a couple segments and um, we have to close this off now that I think about it we'll have to shrink it down Okay, so let's take this and bring it down and just ask to scale it so it sort of fits underneath there. There. Okay. Control one. And we have a lamp. Okay, if you prefer this a little thicker, while it was a curve, you could you could do that, but I'm happy with that. Alright, there's our lamp. And probably what I would end up doing is um, applying these. So I'm going to control A to apply that, control A to apply that, and that, and that, and that. And I'm going to join it all together. Control J. I suppose I should have a little look in here, and everything is good. Put on the cavity shader. And this is this is what it looks like all right I'll be texturing in substance painter and so I'll be able to uh, use mask to do that um, if these things stick out you know you could always go back in and select a piece like that and uh, let's see or maybe we'd select hmm, yeah we could select that and maybe this and we could just scale it a little bit and pull it up that's fine though all right, you're not going to get too close to that. So I have a couple of these hanging around, put an emission on the bulb, metal material pretty much all over there, and that is it. So I'll bring that into the scene, and the way I would do it, and it's a lot easier now that it's just one, one thing, I just control C, just copy it in, all right, and place it in the scene. So uh, I'm going to do that next time. I promise you I would show you uh, the updates that I made because I gave you a little bit of homework and I wanted you to, finish something up if you're following along so I'll just show you that so here you can see what I have done all right there's my air shaft entry or exit and I decided to put this kind of bar here that you could hold on to but you could also step on to go in I feel a little bad because I know this is not really part of the alien isolation air shaft but I needed something there and so that's what I did and I put a vent here and I put some lights I could put an emission on those with some arrows pointing up to that thing all right it's on both sides and I moved it down closer to here and when I did that I had to bend these wires so that they would fit underneath this I didn't have this piece uh, before where I had the wires there but anyways that's what I've got I still got the piece of spaghetti down there we'll see if I keep that or not and unless I come up with other things that I want to put in here that will be it I mean really there's not that much stuff some of this stuff obviously isn't in the original air shaft and I've just been adding things and uh, I don't want to go too crazy so I think I'm going to move on to the texturing of this and so hopefully you'll tune in for that and we'll see you next time